Hi, hello everybody, Ian here. Welcome back to Integrated Dynamics. Today we're taking a look, taking a look at the recipe handling uh, tutorial from Integrated Dynamics within the manual. So the very first thing it wants us to work on right here is to read all of the recipes that the current or that a crafting table can do. And that's looking specifically for a list. All right, and that says uh, crafting table and reading the list of recipes. So let's go ahead and do that. First. So I have my machine reader, which is plugged into a crafting table right there. And I'll scroll down here and I look for recipes and it wants it in a list. Boom, right there. That is my list of recipes. As you can see right there, there's a bunch of recipes we can make with our crafting table, which is excellent. Good. Let's toss that in there. What's the next thing else wants, wants to work on? So if you want some more fine grain, control of your recipes, or if you're working with a machine that does not expose the recipes via the machine reader, you can visually create a recipe yourself in the logic programmer. Let's try creating a simple recipe, for example, for example, crafting a chest. Can do. So let's go ahead and go to recipe right here. I'm gonna go like this, which in turn makes a chest. Let's go ahead and put a variable card in there. Boom. Excellent, now we have recipe creation. So if I were to plunk this in up in here, it'll say, hey, this is my input and that is my output. So that's what it takes to make a chest. Excellent, cool. So that is step two here done. Let's work on step three. Let's go ahead and plot that away for the time being. So step three here, what I want us to do in the last part of the tutorial, we'll take one recipe or take recipe handling one step further by using, in this case, recipe output aspect. And what we can do that is we can retrieve an operator that when applied to ingredient instance, it will return the first recipe that returns the given ingredients as an output. So for example, sometimes we will see like a chest equals a chest or a board equals a board, depending on what's the situation here. So first thing I wanna do is create an ingredients instance for a chest right there. So let's go ahead and hit and look for ingredients. Right, so looking for items. In this case, we're gonna put a chest right there. Put a variable card in there. So that is our variable card for our chest. So in this case, if I wanted to change the name of it, I'll just call this chest. And I did that with the labeler. That's why I'm able to name that. And that's very important as you get more in depth into integrated dynamics, it makes it easier to keep track of things. Perfect. So next thing I want us to do here is, uh, we did that. Read it in a recipe by output aspect from a machine reader that's targeting a crafting table. So again, this is targeting a craft table right here. Looking for my machine reader. So we're looking for specifically recipe by output. So go ahead and do that. So that's my recipe by output. So in this case, if I put the chest in here, which is what we're gonna do next, it's gonna say, sometimes we'll say it could equal a chest. What's the next step wants to do? After that, it wants us to use the apply operator to apply your chest ingredient to your operator you got from your machine reader. And then finally insult that, and finally the result, put it into a display panel right there. So let's go ahead and look for the apply operator right here. So I'm gonna say, in this operator, I wanna say, I'm gonna put a chest in here. What can a chest equal? Or how can I make a chest? Remember it said the first ingredient. So that is basically gonna be something or chest plus something. So if I were to name this, it would be chest plus something equals something. We don't know what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and put these things right here. And I want us to display this on the panel. Boom, right there. So in this case, my input is an archwood chest and my output would be just a regular chest. So let's go ahead and just put ourselves back into creative mode and look up for an archwood chest arch wood chest, which is down here from Ars Nouveau. And put ourselves back into survival mode here. And as you can see, an arch wood chest equals a chest. So that's the recipe it basically found. And like I said, in the manual here, it will find the first ingredient. Uh, where did it say that here? Da, 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 da. It will find the first ingredient. Here it is right here. So it says right here, when you apply the ingredients instance, it will turn the first recipe that returns a given ingredient as an output. So there are a number of other ones, but this is the very first one it finds basically. So that right there is 
the three advancements in the recipe handling tutorial for integrated dynamics. My name's Ian, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.